Hi everyone, Mike from Comp3 Interactive here. Welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. What I thought I'd cover today is a topic that was being bounced around in the comments section of one of my Facebook posts. That is, how to show custom classes inside your inspector. So if we just jump straight into it, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So as you can see, I just have a simple game object, a sword, with a weapon script attached to it, which has a weapon name and a cost. I also have a second class called Damage Values. So if we open that up, we can see that I have three integer parameters, one for physical damage, fire damage, and shock damage. Now, weapon actually has a public damage values parameter. So why can't we see that in the inspector? Well, it's the simple fact that damage values, not being a native class to Unity, isn't serialized by default. Now, serialization, put very simply, is the ability to mark a class or a field so Unity can get a little bit more of an understanding of it and know what's actually inside. So to do that, if we pop back over to our damage values, all we need to do is, above the class declaration, use the attribute system.serializable. So now that our damage values class is serialized by Unity, we can see that we get our three values, just like we expected. But what about if we wanted to, say, show a private variable inside the inspector? We want it to be private because we're only accessing it from within itself, within its own script, but we do need to actually edit it in the inspector. Well, we can also do this by serialization. We go back over to our weapon script, we see that we have a private string for weapon ID. Now, obviously, private, we can't see this in the inspector, but if we add the attribute to the field, serialize field, and save that, jump back over to Unity, we can see we now have a weapon ID field visible in the inspector, and we can edit it as much as we like. So to the guys in the comments section, that's exactly how you do it. If you've learned something today, then drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. You can also find us over on social media for more bite-sized Unity and C-Sharp tips. I've been Mike for Comp3 Interactive, and I'll see you again soon.